have. The guru has to adjust things according to time, place, and circumstance. So he has a certain power. He has a power to do things, even to change certain things, which previously was not done, like Prabhupada established the ashrams with men and women together. Now look at this. In Gaudiamat, there, there was hardly a space for women, you know. Uh, of course, a little here and there, but no, it wasn't a very clear idea. So Prabhupada actually had young women. In the Gaudiamat, maybe there were some very <coughs> older ladies who stayed somewhere in a group, but young girls living in the ashram, that was not in the Gaudiamat. So Prabhupada did that. He started and he was criticized for it. Now here comes Paramatvati and takes the woman out of the ashram again. But what does he do? He gives them their own ashram and he helps them and trains them to be leaders so that they can actually have full full facility. And why there are so many ladies in our Krishna conscious movement in Vrinda? Very simple reason. Because we treat them well. <laughs> That's why we have so many ladies. Number two, we train them to be leaders. Number three, we give them facilities to create facilities for other women. Number four, we give them support and, and the feeling of being equally responsible and important in keeping uh, things together. And number five, we still come together and do things together. It's like we may have a different ashram here, therefore ladies are managing, but that doesn't mean they are out on their own. No. If the Matijis in any Vishnu Priya ashram have any problem, they only have to say like this, and the Brahmacharis and the Sadhus are going to run there to see what they need. So it's, it's not that they are like, oh, they're, they're a monastic order of their own in opposition to the crazy man. It's not that. It's just that I wanted them to be more comfortable and have more facilities because <coughs> I saw the tremendous power in the women in what they're doing and the need for them to, to have a facility to work. I mean, the old Iskon temples, it was like this, that uh, sometimes, sometimes they shared one bathroom, the men and the women, and then it was like, became quite awkward. Or you had a big temple and one room in the corner, there were the women. And so it, it, was, no, it wasn't a nice facility. Nowadays, you can go to Sachinandan and the women have a beautiful farm in Medellin, or you can go to... <coughs> To Mexico, the, the Matijis have a, several apartments there, uh, which are Vishnu Priya ashrams. So if you don't get along with one ashram, you go to another. Uh, like, make it nice. Krishna consciousness is a pleasant, is pleasant environment for living happily in the service of the Guru. That is what Krishna consciousness is all about. It's not a place, hey, just you have to go and just suffer, suffer, suffer. No. And I must honestly say, I didn't agree the way our ISKCON leaders were dealing with the women in America. And in Europe was a little different, but in America especially, the way they were dealing with the women was very, very uh, machistic and not very nice shameful so i saw that i said no in my mission is not going to be like that we're going to have a very very nice platform and and i hope that our women will take spiritual leadership for their whole life whatever that means for them that is up for them to decide when the time comes but it means yes krishna is with you like Krishna, like Bhagavad Gita says, Ayopisa, um, what is this shloka? Shriya Vaishyas Tata Shudras Te Piyanto Param Gatim. That everyone 
everyone uh, who is taking shelter of Krishna can reach the highest destination. Doesn't matter what birth, male, female, uh, sudra, vaisya, tatashudras, all of them. So in this way, this is our, this is our our uh, conception, no. <coughs> And this is a development, it's also according to uh, time, place and circumstance, no? Because it's the need of the day, the need of the Western world. <laughs>